In an archipelagic country like the Philippines, connectivity is the rule of the thumb to achieve and sustain economic growth. Decades after being left out by our neighboring countries, the government has finally embarked itself to addressing infrastructure backlog through the administration's Build, Build, Build program. This initiative aims to reduce poverty, spur economic growth, and reduce congestion in the metropolis. The government is building almost everything from roads and bridges, railways, seaports, land ports, and airports. Three years after its implementation, let us get a closer look at which projects have been started, if not completed. And in this particular episode, we will focus on the air connectivity infrastructures, the airports. <laughs> In the past years before President Duterte assumed office, the Philippines has been known worldwide for having the worst airport in the world. From congestion headaches to problems like Laglagbala and Bogos taxi drivers, the country's main gateway, the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, has gained a bit of reputation in the aviation industry. The government has already addressed the Laglagbala problem and has minimized the number of Bogos taxis. One thing that's remained, congestion. How do they solve it? Basically, build more airports. In the report made available by the Department of Transportation, 18 airport projects have been completed, two of which are new international airports and the rest were either upgraded, rehabilitated, or at the early stage of implementation. One of the completed airport projects during the first half of President Duterte's term is the Lalo International Airport, also known as the Cagayan North International Airport in Cagayan. The airport is located between the barangays of San Mariano and the Gupan in Lalo, Cagayan, and sits on a 150-hectare aviation hub. This project costs the government some 1.6 billion pesos or $34.2 million. This airport was constructed to cater the domestic and international flights to Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, and China. The inaugural flight was of Royal Air's Macau Cagayan flight RJ100, which landed on August 18, 2019 in the afternoon, carrying 99 passengers. The second international airport that has been finished is the world-class and the country's first ECHO airport, the Bohol Panglao International Airport. This 8.9 billion peso project to place the Tagbilaran Airport to accommodate the increasing passenger traffic due to tourism. This facility sits on a 216-hectare property and can handle 800,000 passengers. Toyota Corporation and Mitsubishi Corporation were the prime contractors for the project, while the EEI Corporation as the subcontracting partner dealing with the civil works. One of the recently finished airport projects is the Sangli Point Airport which has been finished and had a dry run on October 27, 2019, days before the November deadline of the President. This airport was primarily built to decongest the Dinoy Aquino International Airport with transferring domestic and general aviation flights. The airport has a 2,300-meter runway. The first touchdown was of Sebgo Cargo Turboprop Plane. Proposals are being submitted to further develop the said airport. Aside from those that are mentioned, other aviation hubs in the country are undergoing significant facelifts, among of which is the rehabilitation of the Mactan Cebu International Airport, which cost 17.52 billion pesos. Domestic airports have not been left behind. On July 5, 2019, President Duterte inaugurated the Ormoc Airport's new facilities, which include the renovated passenger terminal building and a widened runway. Additionally, more infrastructure expansions for the mystic airports of Virac, San Vicente, Marinduque, Tuigarao, and Busuanga in Luzon, Maasin, Katarman, and Tacloban in Visayas, and Ipil, Chargao, Mati, and Kamigin in Mindanao have been accomplished. The government is also accelerating the ongoing infrastructure development in 27 commercial airports and one military airbase one international airport is also about to rise. 
the rehabilitation works of Binoy Aquino International Airport Terminal 2 continues. These include the development of departure check-in hall and arrival baggage area, architectural improvements in passenger movement areas, upgrade of aero bridge areas and elevated roadway, new glass wall panels and partitions, upgrade of air conditioning system, power, lightings, fire protection and electronics and communication systems, installation of an improved flight information display system and a new public address system. The waterproofing works and building exterior are also part. Construction is also ongoing for the second passenger terminal building of the Clark International Airport. An additional runway is also set for construction. To further help the long-term decongestion of NAIA, the new Manila International Airport in Bulacan has started construction. This airport is set to be the face of a world-class airport in the country. Learn more about this in our next video. Meanwhile, the Bicol International Airport is now more than halfway complete. The airport is expected to accommodate 2 million passengers per year and is targeted for completion in 2020. The international airports in Davao, General Santos, Zamboanga, Iloilo, Calibo, and Lawag are also undergoing improvements. Development projects continue as well for domestic airports in Busuanga, Kawayan, Naga, and Tuigarao in Luzon, Bakulud Silay, Kalbayog, Katbalogan, Dumaguete, and Tacloban in the Visayas, and Bukidnon, Ipil, Lagindingan, Mati, Imlang, Uzamis, Sangasanga, Chargao, and Surigao in Mindanao. Aside from developing the nation's airports, major programs and initiatives have been launched to further uplift aviation and airport services, such as the establishment of new communications, navigation, surveillance, or air traffic management system that now covers 100% of the Philippine airspace and the night freighting of 15 more commercial airports to further ease the congestion in major gateways.